I'm they, Nur, Chuck, and this, my friends, is the Thunder Show, aka the Internet's most passionate, most passionate behind program. I'm sorry, I'm just really disturbed that I did that. Uh, hey, how are you? Uh, in the Bear Media offices, uh, excited about taping this episode for you. Got my Mac, I should close that. I'm going to land on it. Working on uh, New York Wine Library TV Week. You'll be seeing something about this very shortly, but let me basically say, if you're in New York City, August 24th to 28th, we're gonna be doing some live tapings from New York City. You could be in the crowd, you could be on the street watching. It's gonna be very Today Show-ish, interactive, take some vino, go to uh, some charity good, and so uh, big stuff happening the week of August 24th. Please be a part of it. Also, Food and Wine Week uh, in New York City, Couple tickets left, please come. It's gonna be bomb. It's a little link over here, but ma, link that up as well. That's in October, make the schlep. It's gonna be worth it. Um, also, gonna be in Houston for a wine festival in September. Uh, more details to come on that. So a lot going on with my traveling. I'm excited about that. Uh, hoping to see some of you uh, good peeps out and about. Today we're gonna to talk about Gavi, which comes from the Cortese grape. Uh, a varietal that gets really disrespected, but Gavi is pretty expensive. It's one of the more expensive white wines that's exported to the U.S. Um, has good brand equity amongst the old school peeps. Not as much of a hot topic these days, but it's a category that I continue to want to explore. We've got three Gavis here to taste. I'm excited about them. They're, what are they, 18, 16, and 16 dollars respectively. So not inexpensive, definitely not cheap. Um, but great summer alternatives, winter alternatives, high acid, good wines. I've been a fan of Tortese and Gavi in general, so I'm excited about doing this episode for you, so we'll get right into that in a second. But first, we've got to read some comments. Junior Bold says from the episode, Gary, one of the finest shows yet. I'm 47 years old, and I can still remember that when I was 16 years old in 1978, and they let me have a glass of wine or two during dinner, one Saturday night, I tasted a 1974 Sebastiani Cabernet, and I thought it was pretty good stuff. I can still see it in my mind. In 1980, I went to work for Neil Ash at Ash's Wine Spirits, and today I own the business. And it's because of those Saturday nights when I used to sit around the family table and have a glass of wine with mom and dad. That's a great all-time moment, J.R. Paul. Uh, Jem Shaper says, Gary, you have a great style as an interviewer slash national taster. If you watched last episode, you know what that means. I was captivated by this episode. It sparked an interesting conversation with my husband and rest about restaurant versus social networking promo. Keep up the good work. Thank you. And Ryan G says, I never post, but I have to say, this is the best episode, hands down, you've done. And I've seen every one. First of all, thank you for that, Ryan G. Great guest, and you did an amazing job letting the episode flow, and you should be proud. I'm sure you're referencing the fact that I haven't been the best interviewer. Uh, I've got a big mouth. Oh, almost took you down. I have a big mouth, and, uh, and I love to yap, uh, but uh, I'm working on it. I want to make it better for you guys. That's why I do this show, and I hope I continue to do that, so thank you. On other fronts, Misha is now two months old. She's amazing. I'll share some pictures and make some video with you guys shortly. Uh, I really hurt my knee, which is some devastating news, playing basketball this weekend. Um, so that was kind of bad. So that's kind of going on. And um, I'm hustling, pumping out shows, tasting wine, and very flattered to be in your home right now, or your iPhone, or while you're running next to you on your trip. So thank you. Let's get started while you're here. La Scola. Uh, La Scolca, 2007, Gavi. This wine rolls in $18. Um, you know, Gavi is really fascinating to me. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a 100% Cortese grape. It was first written about in the 1600s. It comes from Piedmonte, Piedmont, where they make Barolo and Barbaresco, the great red wines of the world. Um, it got its DOC status in uh, 1974. Um, it's just a really proud grape. You know, it's, it's a very proud grape, but it's one that is not at the forefront. It's kind of like a I'm sure there's probably like 10 to 15 great authors, athletes, actors and actresses, painters, that for some unknown reason in the last 20 years in pop culture have not gotten their street cred that they deserve. I feel like that about uh, Gabi. Uh, 
Uh, Las Colca, big brand. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Uh, white label Las Colca Gabi. Uh, nice color. Let's give this to the Good kind of like peach and kiwi flavors coming through on the nose. So it's got a nice little tropical um, nose. You know what I kind of found fascinating? My mouth just salivated as I was saying that. So the, if the nose is supposed to induce you know, excitement or anticipation, I think this wine has just done that for you. Let's give it a whirl. Wines. 
But this has a bump. It has much more charisma and, and interesting characteristics to it than the normal Pinot Grigio, Sauvignon Plum from New Zealand, even a Sancerre. I mean, this really has some oomph to it, some complexities that takes the second tier flavor of kind of a, a seashell kind of aspect that I think is quite fascinating. Um, this is an appealing wine with a, a, a various degree of different complexities than your normal $20 and under white wine. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm just course by 90 points and this is an exceptionally well made Gabi, one that I would highly recommend you finding. I know they have very substantial distribution in the New York City restaurant scene because it's pretty and I think the restaurants like to display the bottle and the wine is great. Great DOCG from Piedmonte, Los Pagina, Knockout City. Really makes me want to score this under 80 to give you a, a, a reference because I know points are so bullcrappy kind of, but you can see my reaction. And finally, um, what we have here is the Broglia 2008 Gavi, 16 US dollars. Let's give it a rinse. And a little pour. And a little snippy snip. Aromatically, extremely interesting. I get a really big sensation of, gob, uh, of guava. Of guava coming through. Yeah, quite a bit of guava. guava and a little bit of a, a passion fruit. So again, you're getting this enormous tropical theme with the kiwis and the passion fruit. There's also a, like, a, a, like a hint, the smell of like, the, the smell reminds me of a turnip. So a little bit of a turnip, passion fruit, guava thing going on. It smells very fresh, by the way, as well. Almost like, and I also smell a little bit like Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. But I'm not kidding, I know that's like kind of, ha uh ha, -huh, frosty flaky, kind of corn flaky. Let's give it a whirl. Also good stuff. A little bit more metallic, kind of um, industrial flavoring. Kind of, I love this. Metallic metal aluminum play on the back end of the fruit. I really, really, really like uh, this wine's acidity as well. This wine has even more of a razor's edge. Little razor Ramon Chico uh, kind of thing going on to it, but it's also got good apple fruits. Uh, I would also score this wine. I would score this by 90 points as well. Back to back 90s, going 180 on your butts here. Um, not on your butts. Uh, sure. uh, you know, really good. I, once again, proving my excitement about Gavi. Um, I think it's got a huge upside. I think great wines under 20 bones. The Broglie is very good. Good distribution. This one is on 16 bones. Gavi is underrated. Great wine with a variety of foods. Langoustines, lobster, things of that nature. Question of the day. What do you think is underrated? I think God is underrated. I also think the Jets are underrated. What do you think is underrated? You, with a little bit of me, we are changing the wine world. Thank you for spending this time with me. Thanks, guys.